my name is Karina and I'm a personal trainer here on the Sunshine Coast of Australia. Today I'm going to lead you through an advanced workout, so if you're looking for more of a beginner workout, then click on the link below and go to my site and you'll find lots of beginner workouts there. Today's workout is going to focus on your arms, and on your butt, and on the back of your legs, namely your hamstrings where you want to tighten up. It's going to be 18 minutes long and you are going to have 50 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. So that's 55 0, not 15 1 5. Uh, nice try, you're not going to get off the hook, so you do have to work for 50 seconds as hard as you can. You need to set up your round timer or your interval timer for 50 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest and 18 rounds. And again, you can get a timer like this um, as a free app. So, there are going to be nine exercises today, and you'll be doing them twice through to get your 18 rounds. And here's what they're going to look like. So the first one you're going to do <coughs> is a side plank followed by two squat jumps. So you're going to start in the middle, you're going to jump up to the side, back to the middle, two squat jumps. Then you're going to jump out to the other side, back to the middle, two squat jumps. Again, up to the side, to the middle, Two squat jumps, out to the other side, middle, two squat jumps. Do as many of those as you can in 50 seconds. Make sure when you do your squat jumps that your bum goes out and that your knees do not come ahead of your toes, just for safety. Uh, by the way, if you think you can see my underwear, it's just shorts underneath. Um, the second thing you're going to do is wood chops. So grab a weight. This one here is 6 kilos, which is about 13 pounds. You're going to start in the middle and you're going to swing up, go back to the middle, swing to the other side. This is for your abs, so keep them nice and tight. You should feel it right here on the oblique. That's the side abs. And off to the other side. Right, you can do a slight pause in the middle so that you're not gaining momentum on the swing through. Next thing you're going to do is five high knees followed by five lunge jumps. So here we go, one, two, three, four, five, and then five, one, two, three, four, that's five lunge jumps. Again, make sure your knee does not come forward over your toe. When you're doing your jumps, make sure that you keep your abs nice and tight, and that you don't lean too far forward or too far back. So you want to keep your torso fairly upright. Right, also five and five. Keep alternating between those for 50 seconds. Uh, next one you're going to do is walking push-ups. So you'll start at one end of your mat, you'll do a push-up here, then walk across, do a push-up here, followed by five mountain climbers. Okay, push-up, walk, walk, push-up, five mountain climbers. Push-up, walk, walk, push-up, five mountain climbers and so on for 50 seconds. Right now, next one we're going to do is sumo squats. So you're going to start here, squat down, and as you come up, lift your foot to one side, and then the other side. Again, making sure that your knees do not come forward over your toes, and that you squat back, like you're sitting into a chair, or on the toilet, or you're doing a bit of a tuck while you go skiing. Uh, next one you're going to do is plank abs. So you're going to need your weight for this one. Put your weight right in front of you. And you're going to start this here, jump your feet back, then forward, pick up your weight, and jump in the air. Again, that's back, forward, and jump into the air. Make it one fluid motion. Okay, almost done. The next one is the V-roll abs. So you're going to go on the mat, or on the ground, whatever you've got. Make sure that your feet do not touch the ground. So keep them off the ground at all times. Hand behind your head, other hand here. You're going to do a V crunch, then roll over, and do it on the other side. Okay, a little tip is that you're going to use the arm that's on the ground to roll yourself to the other direction. Remember, do not let your feet touch the ground. Next one, you'll be doing five tricep dips, followed by five push-ups. So, sitting on the ground, you're going to go for one, two, three, four, five. Now flip over, do 
not let your bum touch the ground. And one, two, three, four, five. Okay, again, flipping over, back into the tricep dip. One, two, three, four, five. You get the idea. So keep on alternating five and five until you hit those 50 seconds and you hear the timer. Last thing we're going to do is wipe out. Last one you're going to do, watch out, those mats can be slippery, is skipping. If your skipping rope's too long, like mine, wrap it once around your hands. Okay, and you're going to do as many skips as you can in 50 seconds. Make sure you're going nice and fast. Get those knees really, really high, high as you can. Okay, that is it. So again, those are nine exercises. You're doing them twice through. So you're having 18 rounds, 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Let me know how you went on that. And if you'd like some more exercises and some more videos, some more clean eating tips and recipes, click on the link below and check out my site. See you later. Bye-bye.